Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kerbal Spaceship Program. Uh, I'm going to start a new save here. This is going to be career mode. Allow other launch sites, definitely. Starting funds, I'm going to crank this up to 50,000. I'm going to set the decline penalty to zero because there's a lot of contracts that these mods add that I don't really like. Okay, I'm going to enable Kerbal G-Force limits, plasma blackout. I'm going to enable always allow action groups. I think that's about it. So let's get right into this. All right, so let's see what we have in mission control. I'm gonna accept this do some science contract. I'm gonna accept suborbital tra trajectory. All right, so let's just get right into it. Obviously, I, this is just the default parts unlocked still, so I can't make any actual spaceships. Looks like I've got a bunch of stuff unlocked already though. I will leave a list of mods in the description, hopefully if I remember to do that. So yeah, let's just do ye old standby. And I'm going to scale these down a tiny bit and then rotate them also a tiny bit. This will allow the craft to spin and keep it more stable in the atmosphere. I'm gonna scale these back up actually. Crew is going to be Jebediah as always. I think I'm gonna alternate between Jeb and Valentina. I'm using Buco Zero's uh, decal pack. When I get later into the save and I've got more stuff unlocked, I'm going to be making ships kind of based around his general design philosophy. I'll put some pictures up on the screen maybe. Added a couple textures here myself. Yes, these ones, these uh, hexagon shapes. I'm not gonna use those. I just like to have those available. Electrical, that's a 1.25, nice. Uh, I have this mod called Brick Mod, which basically adds Legos to the game. And there are quite a few different parts available. I'm not gonna be using these a lot unless I want something that has a bit more texture to it. Anyways, let's get this started. Crew report from here. EVA report, take data, store experiments, observe mystery goo, keep this available and this available. And we are going to do this. I should have throttled down the thrust quite a lot. Crew report while flying over Kerbin Shores. Observe mystery goo while flying over Kerbin Shores. I'm going to wait to slow down and then I'm I can't EVA. As you can see, we've got this nice spin here because of the angled tail fins. Let's see here. He's facing backwards. Let's do this. And of course, the reaction wheels aren't powerful enough to do more than just wiggle the craft. They can't even override these fins. Deploy the parachute. And it looks like we're going to land next to the VAP. He's in for a shot right about now. How many G's was that? 9.7? All right, and that is our first launch. Typically with spaceships, what I try to do is recover as much of it as possible, and of course, this is like nine parts, so pretty easy for the single parachute to handle. 28 science earned. Of course, we have doubled our money because I've completed that contract, and now we've got a whole lot more. Return our first piece of scientific data, we did that. Okay, we will get to that eventually. Engineering 101 is... Uh, what I'm going to do because it unlocks the thermometer. Survivability next because it has the barometer. Stability is also a good one. The AVT1 winglet is a very handy part for making space planes if you scale it up. It makes for a very handy basic wing. We also have this nose cone here. General rocketry I cannot afford. Survivability is what I'm going to go with though. We also have a service bay which will be handy. I'm going to reduce the amount of solid fuel to one and then I'm going to actually just redo this launch. For some reason, if I didn't actually complete that achievement where I need to collect the science. Observe mystery goo. Oh, that game bar is right in the way. Contract complete, achievement, first recovery achievement, and a bunch of world first milestones. It actually gave me a bunch more funds as well. In terms of missions, we have reach for the stars and do some science, which we have now completed. I don't know why it did not calculate that earlier. Jeb has no experience gain. Reputation is increased to 72. I'm going to upgrade this. Landed at Kerbin, I can do that. Test the fleet at the launch site. I can't haul anything into orbit yet. Uh, I can do experiments around the KSC later. This doesn't have a time limit, so I'm going to accept that right now. And orbit Kerbin, okay. These are the goals. Let's see, I need the Thumper Mini Rocket, Flea Solid Booster, and Stack Decoupler Mark II. So, new ship. I'm leaving the solid fuel out. And same with the, ooh. That's very small. Let's do this. Let's put the flea there. Thumper mini rocket surrounding it like this. Remove the solid fuel. What else do we have? Mark II stack decoupler. Uh, I'm going to put that on here in the pod there. Flea solid booster. Mark II stack decoupler. Thumper mini rocket. Valentina Europe. The reason I put the solid rocket boosters right here is because when you're turning your rocket to orbit, it rotates like this. <laughs> Yeah, like that. And it's easier to do that, I think. I don't actually know for certain. When they're right here, instead of on this side and this side. Run test. Run test. Uh, do I just have to decouple this? 
Cool. I think that's it. Nice three contracts right there. Maybe I'll get a few more of those. For now, however, we need to do some science around the KSC. Let's see. I'm going to grab this. There were some batteries that I saw, yes. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it. No, first I'm going to wait. Gravioli core scan on the VAB and space plane hangar. Crawler way there and mystery goo on the crawler way. So I only need one because it's going to be inside this and I don't want to flip the camera through it. I'm just going to add an action group on the stage and then I'm going to clip this into this. So this is going to be our rover thing. I'm actually going to launch it from the launch pad instead of the runway because it's closer to the crawler way. I don't feel like having to cross half the runway in this thing because it's just going to waste power. All right, here goes. Ooh, this is hard to control. Let's go in. Oh, geez. Disable the torque on the command pod so it's just the core i don't know why we have this thing unlocked to begin with but it does give you science oh this isn't gonna work you're not doing that right now instead what we're going to do is take the command pod and actually put it back right there this way uh bob can actually just reach into the core and grab it himself might be smarter to wait until i can get some rover parts i think AIES has the pack rat rover. Remove the torque limiter on that. Mystery goo containment unit and gravioli core. Oh, this is hard to control. You can see in the bottom corner, I'm all over the place. Oh, I can't even engage SAS because he's not a pilot. Well, time warp it is, and this will just roll. I've got to go to so many places. All right, we are at the crawler way, which means gravioli core scan and mystery goo scan. I love biome science. EVA, take data, collect data, restore, store experiments, EVA report. I might as well get all of these. Store experiments, board, Crew report. Getting these weird FPS drops. How am I doing on power? Fantastic. I don't know why this isn't using power. Why the crawler way is so long is beyond me. At least I'm halfway there. I do not recommend doing this. Let's see, are we at the space plane hangar yet? Or the VAB? Please tell me yes. Whoa. Noted. You know what? We are not doing this right now. What other contracts do we have here? Orbit Kerman, suborbital trajectory. I can get both of those in one go. I should be able to at least... I, I think I can do that. All right, now we actually need... I think we got heat shields and survivability. I technically have RCS uh, heat shield. And no, I'm not putting it like this. I don't know why people do that. It goes like this because it makes that thing. Anyways, and parachute here. Aerodynamics, I'm just going to use these. No angling on the fins because I don't want this to just randomly turn while I'm flying. Jeb. You're up. Valentina was gonna try and fly that- Oh no, she's up. He's already got a bit of experience. I should have made all of these just white because this stripey pattern is kind of obnoxious if I'm honest. I forgot to check staging. I need to redo this rocket. Reroute. Take this off. Those off. We add a bunch of these on. Yeah, that's gonna be- f that's plenty. Do I have reaction wheels? No, I don't. I suppose that'll be fine. Uh, plus launch. This is actually the first time I've been using liquid fuel engines with- I think I have waterfall enabled? So this will look really pretty. Alright, if this doesn't reach orbit, we will at least get the suborbital contract. Mach 1. I should have put that, uh, Kerbal Engineer thing on there. So I'm gonna cut the fuel here. Got a nice thousand Delta V left. Valentina is going to have a field day up there. I can't remember what we have to upgrade to actually see your apoapsis or periapsis. We'll work on that. Hey, well, we got the suborbital contract done at least. I hope we have enough to properly orbit. I don't think we're gonna have enough. If we do, we're not gonna have enough to get back. Uh, well. We got orbit. Might be time for a rescue mission. Or at least, let's see, did that actually give us funds? It did. Okay, so there's no issues here. We can just go to the space center and have Valentina do the good old classic, get out and push. Kerbals can perform EVAs, and that's only 75,150. I think that's worth it. Cool, it shows the apoapsis and periapsis now. I might not need to get out and push. Should upgrade to the astronaut complex first, but I didn't have the funds unless I did this mission. So, because this separator here applies a force, literally just decouple, and that's already dropped our periapsis by a thousand meters. You know what? Our stock re-entry heating is actually not that bad, and we aren't going to need this heat shield. If I jettison this, I can get a a little bit more Delta V out of it. Face retrograde, please. Thank you. What are we at? 74. And yes, this is a parachute. I was scared for a second. Oh, here comes the sun. All right. Push with all your might, Valentina. You've got this. Let's see. What's our periapsis at? 62. Obviously, this is a more traditional rocket, and they're not designed to be reusable. I think uh, by this point, it should be good. I can just get back in. 
I can land at the KSC. I'm gonna try to do that. I've got the mod trajectories in. Apparently it doesn't work with Kerbals, as you can see here. Oh jeez. Looks like we just overshot it, and I keep trying to push F to disembark. Because I'm a Space Engineers player at heart. Alright, let's see what that did. Hmm, a little more. Basically do what I just did. The closer you land to the KSC, the more value you get because you don't have to send out a recovery team halfway across the planet. Oh, I overshot it again. First quick save of the entire series. Doesn't it feel special? You know what? That's close enough. And I think my parachutes will kick in and I'll probably land a bit closer, like halfway between the marker and the KSC. Anyways, here we go. If I turn on aerodynamic forces and kind of clip into the pod, you can see that there's... Uh, drag here and lifting surface here at the bottom, which means this is going to automatically face retrograde. And I don't have to control this at all, really. And here we go, we just wait. I'm going to EVA report. Feel like I should really get back into the ship. I agree completely. Casually EVAing just before re entry, as you do. So, when I do a moon mission, I'm going to do it in F2 mode, which disables the UI. However, it does not disable orbits. If I view here, the nav ball. I can see the orbital speed I can see it'll automatically switch to surface soon when I'm landing I can use cockpit view I have full control of the throttle I can tell uh, RCS is not enabled right now now it is SAS is on this is altitude so I'm gonna try to do the whole moon mission with no UI because it's fairly easy to get a moon encounter from low curb and orbit you can also see the trajectories and orbital information in the map view with the UI hidden, which is amazing because without it, I literally couldn't do it. I mean, I probably could if I memorized the speeds involved and just looked here, but I'm not that professional of a player. I've only got 400 hours in this game. All right, parachutes deployed, and it's only a matter of time. And there's the KSC. And here we are, the first orbital flight. I didn't think to bring any experiments. Oh well, I got the EVA reports, which is good enough. 42 science earned, I've got 79 now. Flight control is going to be good because we get this MechJib 2, a probe core, Corvus command pod, which can see two. This also gives me the Corvus nose cone, which is a docking port, parachute, and RCS thrusters. I'm going to get this because it has the reaction wheels and probe cores and a two-seater command pod, which is going to be very important later on. I should have researched basic science. I'm going to grab this MUN contract because it doesn't have an expiration date. Kick off space tourism. I'm going to grab this. Kicking off space tourism is going to be very profitable and very easy, especially now that I have the Corvus command pod. But anyways, yeah, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe. This has been Gnome. Outro noises, lol, bye.